am about to embark on a new and complex project. I'm planning to construct a storm shelter off the side of my basement. Uh, it's going to take a very long time, a lot of engineering and a lot of planning and work to make it happen. And I will be posting updates. First, a little background. I built an addition off the back side of my house a few years ago and I excavated alongside the existing house one story below the foundation. After the house was built, I always dreamed of building a tunnel underneath the old part of the house. Now I'm in the basement at the wall under the older part of the house. Behind this wall is solid rock and I'm planning on cutting a door through here. This is the sub-basement in the addition that I built and I've been using it as a home office as well as a video production studio for one of my other TikTok channels. I'm planning on removing everything, building a ramp to a window that you see behind the green screen, and loading the rock through that window, and on the other side there is a window well. At the other side of the window, which is about 14 feet below ground, we will need to construct a crane and a bucket to get all of the rubble out of here and to put it into a trailer or truck. A few hours later, we have everything cleared out of the sub-basement and covered with plastic, ready for construction. Notice that the walls are showing signs of water damage, even though they're not that old. There is groundwater. To cut the opening, I am using an angle grinder with a masonry blade. It is underpowered for the job, but I don't want to buy or rent a tool specifically for this. It is an example of using brute force and patience to get a job done. As you will soon discover, that is my specialty. At the beginning, I tried to use a shop vac to suck up the dust, but quickly tired of cleaning the clogged filter. After cutting a series of grooves, I'm using a rock pick to chisel out some small chips of concrete, piece by piece. And then I'm making deeper grooves. I dispensed with the vacuum cleaner and now the dust is just going into the air and the quality is rapidly going down. Additionally, the dust is spreading all throughout the house and although I hate it, I better get used to it because from now on, my house and everything in it is going to be a dusty industrial disaster zone. The next step after carving the channels and chipping away at the face of the concrete is to use a heavier jackhammer to remove as much concrete as possible. I don't want to do this from the beginning because it will damage the, the facing of the concrete and I want the door opening to look very neat and professional. I did get the jackhammer stuck a time or two, but in the end it all worked out. Starting to make some progress, able to see the membrane on the other side. I still have so long to go.
Now that the doorway is fully open, it's time to cut open the membrane. I was very concerned because I know there's water coming through this wall and I don't know if there is a lot of water seepage or damage behind here or even what is the condition of the rock. I want the rock to be strong so that I can safely tunnel inside of it without having to worry about cave-in. Underneath the membrane, I can see some of the concrete that was backfilled when the house was being constructed, as well as some gravel. After chipping through the backfilled concrete, the rock behind is coming into view. There are layers of shale and sandstone behind the wall. Very dry, but also very hard. Fortunately, I have the right tools to break it, although I wish I had the dynamite. Finally got all of the concrete out and starting to make some headway. 